let's get some terminology for working with polynomial functions. So polynomial functions are a string of terms, so adding or subtracting, where we'll have a coefficient, which a coefficient is just a real number, times our variable with an exponent. The key is that that exponent should be a positive whole number, so a non-negative integer. So meaning we shouldn't see exponents with negatives, we should not see exponents that are rational, like one half, and things like that. So, and then we can have as many terms as we want as long as we follow those rules. So, when we have a polynomial, these terms could be all mixed up, but something that we're going to be very interested in is what the leading term is. And the leading term has the highest exponent on it. So what we're going to do is look through some examples of polynomials down here and talk about degree, leading term, and leading coefficient. So the degree is basically the largest exponent. So it's the exponent itself. The leading term is the entire term, so number and uh, variable portion that make up that where we get the degree from, and then the leading coefficient is the numerical part, so the number that's multiplying um, as part of that leading term. So let's look at this first polynomial. So we have three plus two x squared minus four x cubed. So what I wanna look at is where's the largest exponent occurring? And it's occurring at that negative four x cubed. So that exponent of three that defines the degree of our polynomial. So this is a degree three polynomial. Our leading term is that entire term of negative four x cubed. And then the leading coefficient, because there's two pieces here, there's like a number multiplying and then our variable with an exponent. The leading coefficient is that number out front. So in this case, it would be negative four. So, degree comes from the exponent, negative 4x cubed is the entire term, and that's our leading term, and then the leading coefficient is that numerical part that's multiplying with our variable. Let's look at this one, g of t equals 5t to the fifth minus 2t cubed plus 7t. So for looking at degree, leading term, leading coefficient, I'm looking for the term with the largest exponent which is at the front here, so this 5t to the fifth. So the degree is coming from the exponent, so this is degree five. The leading term is the entire 5t to the fifth, and the leading coefficient is coming from the number that's multiplying out front, which happens to also be five. All right, and then this last one here, 6p minus p cubed minus two, so to get the degree, I'm looking for the largest exponent, which is happening at this negative p cubed. So this is a degree three polynomial, and the leading term is negative p cubed. And our leading coefficient, it's like we have a negative one multiplying out front. So it's a negative one that's multiplying with that p cubed. So this is going to help us talk about long run behavior, which we'll discuss more in the next video. But what we want to keep in mind is identifying this leading term, and then we want to evaluate the degree that we're working with. And then eventually we'll talk about the leading coefficient and what it means for it to be positive versus negative.